Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a very simple rig very quickly. So this is a follow-up video to my how to model a humanoid character. So you want to set your character's origin to somewhere around his feet. So just press GZ and send, put him around here. Then you can say Shift Control Alt C origin to 3D cursor. So first thing we're gonna do is press Shift A and add in a bone. So go armature and then single bone. And you can now press G and Z to move it up. But it, there's a problem we can't see it. So just go to the armature tab right here and enable X-ray. Now you can see it through the mesh. So first we're gonna be making a spine for our character. So go into edit mode and select this top and then you can just move it up. So I want my character to bend around here. So I'm just going to press E to extrude and press Z to extrude on, on the Z axis. And I'm just going to drag it to around here. Then I want to create a neck and a head. And let me just check from the side view. We want to fix this. So I'm just going to move the neck around here. And that to around there. So that looks about right. Now we're going to add a left arm, so just left click to around here and press shift A and it's gonna add a bone and then you can just move it to around the elbow position, then extrude once more for the forearm and then extrude once more for the fist. If you have fingers or something like that, you might want to add more bones here, but this is a very simple rig, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Now go to the side view and fix it around here. I'm just going to select everything and move it. And move this elbow a bit backwards. Now we're going to create a left leg. I'm actually going to move this a bit lower and then left click around here. And again, press Shift A and move this to around the knee position. Extrude once more. And then go to the side view and fix this. Let me just hide the arm to show you something. I like to put my leg, I'm sorry, a uh, leg to around the position of my hip. So this, and then I'm gonna place this here and this here. I want to extrude from down here to make a foot. What I want to do now is rename my bones. So go up here and expand this and this. And now we're gonna have a few bones here. If you select it up here, you can see it here. I'm going to rename this bone to something like lower torso. The naming for these bones is all up to you. You can name them how, however you want. This is going to be upper torso. You can name this chest or something. Then we have a neck. And our head. Now this bone, this is our arm. And we're going to name it arm1.l. Dot L means left. And you will see later why that is important. This is going to be arm 2.left and it's going to be hand.left. Now we have our legs, so this is going to be leg1.l, leg2.l and foot.l. Now I want you to press C and then select your whole left leg and your whole left arm. We want to mirror this to the other side. So press Shift D. Before we do this, just press Shift C to center your cursor right here. And then press Control M and X. And now you can just move it on the X axis. Of course, this can be perfect. Just uh, get it to a similar position. And now, while these bones are selected, just go down here, armature, flip names, and you can see that all these bones are now named 
hand r arm two dot r arm one r which means arm one dot uh, dot right all the bones have dot zero zero one after them you can delete this if you want but you don't have to what i like to do is select the whole thing and press alt r and alt g to zero out the rotation and the position of the rig just so we don't have any problems once we start weight painting this the last thing i will do is i will select this bone and this bone and then lastly i will select this um, lower torso bone and press ctrl p keep offset and now if we go to pose mode you can see if we move this bone arms move with it and also i want to do that for the legs so just select these two bones and then lastly select this one and press ctrl p keep offset and now if you go to pose mode and move this bone everything moves with it you have to do this if you're gonna import it into unity or unreal because i think uh, those engines support only one root bone i'm not going to be covering how you can uh, weight paint your character in this video but if you want to use it right now you can just select your mesh and select your rig press ctrl p with automatic weights now select your rig and go to pose mode and you can see if you move the bones, mesh moves with them. Of course, this is not perfect, but you can look up a how to weight paint video uh, on YouTube. Also, leave a comment if you want me to make a how to add IK bones video. And that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, it helped you. Leave comments down below if you want me to make like more videos like this. And also, uh, leave a like and subscribe because it helps me out. And go follow me on social media. There's a link in the description for everything. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.